Sir Richard. I am here on the appointed day, my Lord Abbot. And have you brought the money you owe me? I've come to beg you grant me a little more time till after the next harvest. Then with every hundred I'll repay ten more. And for a miserable forty pounds you ask me to give up manor and lands? In the name of him who died for us. <laughs> Sir Prior, I have pleaded for you. Would that my words had been heard. Enough, I'll hear no more. Out of my sight, false knight. I have never been false to my vows. Can you answer the same? Now, I call you all to bear witness. I am quit of this man, who is ashamed to his office and to the Holy Church. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been false to my vows. Can you say the same? No! <laughs> I am ashamed to my office and to the Holy Church. <laughs> you should have seen his face. We were gone before he could think of an answer. <laughs> uh, Sir Richard sends you a message. Yes. In three days' time, Gisborne and the Sheriff will be in York to meet the Abbot in secret. In secret? Aye, what did they talk of, he does not know. Uh, what else should they talk of but treason? <laughs> when the Prince is made regent, he will reward his friends handsomely. And when he is king? He will be even more generous. The Archbishopric of York is vacant. I would accept no less. You drive a hard bargain, my Lord Abbot. It's a hard world. Prince John and you need my help if you are to carry the great council. With me, you can win. And without you? You must think again. We have no quarrel. The Prince has empowered me to meet all of your demands. Good. First and most pressing. The collectors of the King's Exchequer arrive in York next week. How can they harm you? Apart from the Abbey Treasury, uh, there's my private fortune. I must get the bulk of it away before they can assess it. And the perfect place is Nottingham, where the Royal Exchequer has no jurisdiction. Precisely. There's no fear of theft. I myself will give you covering bills, and the column that guards it south will be personally commanded by Sir Guy. At one point, it must pass through the forest. What of outlaws? All roads are under our control. We've heard much of this Robin Hood, my own seller. I was savaged by him. <laughs> A name to frighten children with. And besides, who ever heard of outlaws attacking an armed convoy? Nevertheless, my personal guard shall go with you. As you please. I shall inform the Prince of our compact. Uh, but not in writing. But the Lord Abbot is committed. And to those you've spoken of, join us. I would prefer my name not to be recorded. Agreed. My Lord Abbot. Yeah. Oh. You would have... Further proof of my gratitude? Some personal service, perhaps. I am betrothed to Sir Kenneth Neston's niece, the Lady Marion. Is there some difficulty? By now I should have taken her to wife, but she's made some ridiculous pledge that she will not wed until King Richard has set foot inside Jerusalem. The vows of women are a silken thread. Easily broken. This was a solemn oath made before the Bishop of Durham. Ah. Such oaths are binding. What the church has made, surely the church can unmake. Not against the lady's wishes. And not without penance. But uh, perhaps you can be persuaded. I cannot break my vow. But surely you can see it would be wrong to delay your wedding any longer against your uncle's wishes. Not forgetting the pain it is causing Sir Guy. I am sorry to cause pain to anyone, but Sir Guy must wait. You will understand, my lord. As I explained to you, my child, the king himself gave his blessing to your marriage. To deny it would be to deny a royal command. 
I cannot marry against my conscience. The Lord Abbot is offering you absolution. No, no, no. The vow, I am sure, was not made lightly. But you have no desire to be absolved. I cannot renounce the words I have spoken. They are in my heart. And your whole concern is for the success of the crusade. Yes, my lord. Such devotion, such sacrifice. To postpone your own happiness. Oh. Well, how fortunate then that the latest news means your months of waiting may soon be over. Our brave King Richard has taken Cyprus and embarked his army for the Holy Land. Perhaps in the next few weeks we may hear that he stands in the Holy City itself. 